Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another West Ham career mode. I know I've uploaded this on my channel before, but unfortunately I just couldn't be bothered. I don't, well, that sounds very bad. <laughs> I didn't have enough time, let's say, to make the career mode. So now we're going to be doing this. It's going to be awesome. This is obviously the first episode where we're just going to make some sign-ins. It's going to be all sped up, guys. Also, inspiration from this to make like make another career mode is actually from It's Kev. So thank you to him for inspiring me for making another career mode. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to see you after we've played with the team a little bit. But loading up the career mode we obviously do save it as West Ham United and yeah I'm going to tell you which we, which preseason tournament we take we do actually take the one on the right so yeah I'm going to see you when we're shuffling up the team so now that we've shuffled up the team guys in goal we do have Adrian the main goalkeeper for West Ham and then left centre back we do have Og Bonner and then left back we have Cresswell then centre back right centre back we have Reed. Then we have Byram, then Lanzini, then Noble, the captain, the main man. And then we've got Dimitri Payet, the big boy. And then we've got Antonio. And next up we have Big Boy, Diefra Sacco, and obviously, you know, Moses. So moving into the transfer offers, I first I do um, make an offer for Kurt Zuma, the Chelsea young centre-back. I played 5.7 million plus James Collins for him. I know James Collins is a pretty important player here at West Ham as he is one of our most best centre backs we could wish for. But he's getting slow, he's getting old. He's about 34 now, I believe. No, he's 31, sorry. I don't know why I'm saying 34. But he's getting too old, in my opinion. I know they retire when they're about 34, but he's too slow for us. And, that, and so Kurzuma will be a great addition to the squad. Next, we've got another centre back just in case we can't sign Kurzuma, and this is actually going to be John Stones. We do play six point um, two million for him, and that's it. No other additional players or add in the players. Next up on the list, we do go for Emre Chan. Emre Chan, a great player, obviously for Liverpool. He's not been doing that well recently in real life, but we're gonna go for him anyway. We play six million and no additional players, so no players added on. And then next, we've got a, a player from a rival club, and that is gonna be Dele Alli. But I really love this guy in real life. Really great, great player. He's just, he's so, so amazing. We're going to hope um, Spurs can accept this offer for, for 3.7 million, but they're obviously not because we're a rival club and we're probably going to have to play about 10 mil. And then we've got Devil Karigi. Devil Karigi is an amazing player in real life. If you've never seen him play, go and watch him, footage of him on YouTube. Amazing player. I'm going to think he's going to be around 8.5 million. If not, um, I'm probably going to pay you about 10 million for him because he's a great player. Next, we've got a backup striker called Brit Asombalonga. I want to part him back up with Mikel Antonio as he does deserve that. And yep, the last player on the list is actually going to be Kevin Bolland. We do make an inquiry for him, and that's it. So, guys, the target for this season is actually to finish mid table, which I think is pretty easy. So, yeah, hopefully, we can do that for our team. So, moving on to the deals, guys. First, we do get a offer inquiry for. Kevin Volland and they want us to pay £26 million. That deals out the blues. We're not going to pay anything like that for Kevin Volland. So moving on to the next one. A transfer offer was accepted for Brit Asombalonga. He wants 20 grand, 20 grand a week and four years. And I'm going to make him a squad rotation player as soon as he's not going to play that often for us as soon as he's only a backup striker. Then we've got a deal done for Diva Karigi or maybe a deal done if he accepts the, tra um, the contract we do give him 50 grand four years and an important first team player no a crucial first team player i think that was and then for kurt zuma we pay have to pay 7.5 million pounds for and our transfer offer was unacceptable for that and then for john stones we have to pay this, um 45 grand a year, 45 grand a week, four years, and the crucial first team player as soon as I'm going to be playing over Ogbonna. Lucky that was accepted. I think that's going to be a great deal if he does come to our club. And then our offer was rejected for Spurs Deli Alley. Um, I know that was pretty cheap when we paid for him at first, but I'm going to pay for like 5.9, 5.8 um, million pounds for him. And I think that's going to be accepted maybe. Maybe I'm going to have to pay for something like 8 million pounds. And then for Emery Chan, we're going to have to put in someone like 
Joey O'Brien in there because we're never going to use Joey O'Brien, let's face it. And put off the offer up to £7 million. Hopefully, Liverpool do accept that. Other than that, though, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like on it if you did. Subscribe. I'll see you in another video soon. Peace out.